Hello everyone and welcome back to another BCP library video. My name is Katie and today I'm going to show you how you can do a finger painting autumn picture with just some paints. So what you need is just some little pots of paint and I'm just using some ordinary poster paint and just make sure that it's non-toxic but your grown up at home will be able to help you find some paint that's suitable. And before I start the picture I'm just testing out with my fingers, testing how the paint feels and just putting some dots on some paper just to just to see how it goes and just to kind of experiment a little bit and you can do this too you don't have to but I just like to do this sometimes before I start making a picture and I'm just using my finger I'm using a different finger for each color and just dotting it on the page and clumping them together so once you have experimented with your paint you can then start on the main picture so we're going to do a tree and we're going to do branches like this and the tip for this is to do long sweeping curvy lines like this and just do maybe three four or five and add maybe two branches stuck together and then curve it back round and then join up with a curve for the roots and that is our base of a tree and we're going to colour it in. I'm using a brown felt tip pen but you can use a crayon, a coloured pencil, it's totally up to you, you might not even want to colour it in it's totally your decision and I'm just finishing off colouring it in now and once you have coloured in the main branches we can then add some extra branches to the sides and for this you just want to just go off a branch and add some more so you just add some branches off the sides like I'm doing here and then maybe add a couple more off the end of those just to fill out the tree a little bit. You can do as many branches as you like. I decided not to do too many because the paint on top of the brown might look a little bit muddy but it's totally up to you. I'm just doing my last branches and just neatening up the edges before I'm ready to paint. So now I'm ready to paint and you just need to take some paint and put your finger in like I'm doing here and just dab it onto the paper in lots of dots all over the tree and I'm starting off with the yellow. I'm going to do yellow, red and green leaves because those are autumn leaf colours and I'm just starting with the yellow but you can mix the yellow and the red to make an orange. You can either do that with your fingers or do that in a separate pot so that's the yellow just randomly dabbing that on and now we are using the red and just randomly dabbing it over the top just filling in all of the gaps around the branches and also you can connect the clumps of leaves to each other so there isn't too much white space and you just keep layering up your leaves and you can add as many layers as you like and your fingers are a great shape for leaves they work really well because you get a nice finger pattern which also looks a little bit like the veins of a leaf and once I had done with the red I got some green but I didn't do too much green I didn't do as much green as the yellow and the red because it's autumn and the leaves are changing colour so there are just a few green leaves left on the trees so I'm just filling in a few random green leaves all the way across but there are less green leaves than the red and the yellow and I'm also using the green for the grass and I'm just filling it in under the tree so we don't have a floating tree and just filling it in all the way underneath the roots and all the way along just dabbing my finger you don't have to do your finger for this you can use a paintbrush but I think it looks nice with the texture and then once you have done with the green grass you can add some fallen leaves onto the ground so you can get your yellow paint again and just dab a few fallen leaves onto the ground like this and I'm going to use my yellow and my red paint just to add a few leaves so it looks like the tree has shaken its leaves off to the ground and getting ready for winter. And I also had a little bit of blue paint so I added some flowers so I just did a few little clumps of petals like this and then I got a pen and drew the stem and the leaves with the pen just to add a little bit more to the picture and I didn't want to waste the blue paint that I had out. But you don't have to add flowers, you can just add some more leaves. Maybe you want to draw a little squirrel or a little hedgehog or a little autumn character, maybe a fox. It's totally up to you. This is just my idea and this is just what I did. So once you have added your flowers or your leaves, 
then you just need to leave your paint to dry and then you will have your autumn tree picture like this and it's very very easy to do and it's good fun just make sure you cover your surfaces and you wear some old clothes and you wash your hands afterwards I'm going to go wash my hands now <laughs>